What's up, sons? It's Son of a Tech once again, and today I was going to show you guys how to mine Ablecoin with Rigel Miner in HiveOS. This is going to basically prevent the issues with a hang on reboot and breaking the kernel on HiveOS with the older miner that was utilized. And now that Rigel supports it, it's a lot easier. This is only supported on NVIDIA GPUs. Team Redminer has released support for AMD GPUs. I'll cover that in a later video. So if you need that one for your AMD GPUs, hit the subscribe button so that you're notified. We're just going to get right into it. This is Rigel Miner version 1.3.9. It will require that you update your Hive OS. It doesn't have to be on the latest latest, but at least on 20 or 241.30, I believe. And you can see here that now they've added the new Team Red. Red Miner as well, so we'll cover that in a later one. The setup for your wallet is still the same, so go watch my How to Mine Able coin if you are interested in that portion and you haven't done that yet go over there and get that going and then what you need to do is set up your pool at ablepool.io that's covered in the how to mine a billion video as well so make sure you go check that video out once you get to the point of having the wallet created and your able coin pool created then you can go ahead and come back to this video to move forward so you do need to basically go in and create a new flight sheet and it will basically look like this. You will have Ablecoin as your primary coin. You will then select your wallet, add it if you need to add a new wallet, and that will be your short address. And then under pool, you're gonna say configure in minor, and you'll select the minor as Rigel Miner. From here, you can click the setup minor config, and then you are actually just going to change all of this. The wallet template is actually gonna come from the pool. So if you go to the pool and hit your blind run is my account here, and then click your account settings, and then go ahead and scroll down. What you'll see is everything after the start, and up to the colon will be what you paste into the wallet portion. So you right click, copy, paste into wallet template. And then for the password, you'll go over to the accounts and you will copy everything after the colon right here. Copy that, come back here and paste that into the password setting. Then finally, you'll need the pool URL, which isn't actually listed here. So it can be a little bit confusing. Don't worry. I'll leave the link down below. It looks like they actually do have it listed here now, which is nice. So you can copy it straight out of the settings for this global service right here. You'll go back, paste that into this section. And then very important, uh, make sure that you check the box for TLS. It also doesn't, it does have, okay, so everything out of here copied, perfect. Paste that into the pool URL and make sure TLS is uh, applied and then you can apply changes and move from there. Now, the great thing about Rigel Miner is it does support dual mining, which means that you can also mine another coin. In this particular case, I'm mining Radiant. So you can set up your dual coin, the dual coin wallet, and then the pool that you want to go to. And then under Miner Setup, Miner Config, go to your second coin. Make sure you have your second coin algo selected, the wallet, and then the worker name. Apply those options, and now you're off to the races with dual mining. This is an RTX 3070 rig and they uh, they vary a little bit. It looks like we definitely need to replace some thermal pads on GPU one here as the memory hash rate is a little low at 47.44, but we're averaging between, you know, 51, high 51 to 53 mega hash a second on Abelian while still also doing around 560 to 590 mega hash a second on Radiant. And these are my overclock settings. You may need to apply them directly within Rigel Miner, just to be clear, it just depends, but I put them here so you can see them. 1470 on the core, memory at 2000, power level at 200. And that is actually why this is lower, by the way. I had dropped this down to 150 power level, and that's actually because the core was overheating. So it needs new thermal paste, not new thermal pads. I'll get that sorted in the near future. So there is how to mine Abelian with in HiveOS on Rigel Miner. Glad to see this getting pushed forward, and we will cover Team Red Miner for AMD GPUs in the future. Thanks for watching, as always, and I will see you next Tuesday.